The NBA conference, formerly known as Eastern, was once a proud place to play. It has become a laughing stock with only two winning teams. Heat and Pacers, though, are beating up on their kid brothers in a big way. Miami's won 10 in a row, all while LeBron James plays through back pain that he says has bothered him most of the season. Now, to say that head coach Eric Spolster won't rest him is unfair and inaccurate. Now, I won't give him a game off, but James is averaging a career-low 35 and a half minutes per game. He'd actually sitting Dwayne Wade for the fourth time tonight, give his knee pain the night off with the Pistons in town. LeBron tweeting after practice yesterday, post-practice juice, beat down, beet, apple, ginger, orange, lemon, the juice spot, hashtag it's a lifestyle. It's also his wife's business, as in actually her business. Can the Heat beat down the Pistons? Look at that dish to Josh Smith who puts it home. Another look. Smith, a nice dunk over Chris Bosch. The Heat beat down juices. Well, it's going down. Second quarter, Norris Cole pass is picked by Jennings. Here's LeBron getting a hand on it, but Smith's still able to finish with the lay-in. Pistons up 40-24. Fourth quarter, Heater down 11. Michael Beasley, be easy, doing it, and one. Beasley at 23 tonight. After the made free throw, Heat were down eight. Later, Heat down five. LeBron in the transition game, see him take a look, and then I'll keep it myself and do that. Heat gaining some more juice there. LeBron at 23 points with tied his season high with six turnovers. He plays later. Jennings hits the deep three there. Three minutes to go in the fourth now. Pistons are up seven. And Smith comes up with another rip. Finishes with a dunk on the other end. Nice win for the Pistons tonight. Their second win in their last 11 games against Miami. The Heat run out of juice tonight. Lose at home by 10. He puts the gin in the gin and juice, metaphorically. Snoop Legs is here. Um, before the season start, I thought the Pistons would make the playoffs. I'm sure you did, too. They were, I did. You know, the Eastern Conference isn't real strong, but they got some good stuff there. Slow out of the gate. They're starting to play better and more consistent. They're young. They're a young team, and they're learning under a new coach. They're starting to get, get it together a little And they bit. got big bodies. Of course, yes. Josh Smith is long and experienced, and Andre Drummond is gigantic. What about the front court and, and what it did to the Heat? And could that be a concern for the Heat in a playoff series against a biggish team? It's the type of team that has bothered them. It's one of the reasons the Pacers played them so tough mm -hmm. uh, the last couple of years, and particularly seven games in the Eastern Conference Finals. Bigs that can score, that have athletic ability, give them problems. They want to switch things defensively. But here you end it with Battier. He's not going to be able to guard Greg Monroe down on the block, and there's not enough time to get help there. And the Pistons front line really was a difference in the game. Here you see Drummond just moves Chris Anderson out of the way. That's a complete size mismatch. He gets the put back. And then their bigs can get out and run the floor. Look at this right here, how quickly they transition from one into the other with their bigs. So even when you get a miss or a deflection on a transition, you've got a 6'10 small forward and Josh Smith playing the three for the first time in his career, finishing that play up. And here again. Heat slow to get back. The Pistons take advantage of it. Athletic team, they got out. They ran early in this game, took advantage of turnovers. And once again, look at the size difference. You get the offensive rebound and then interior passing. Josh Smith ends up with the layup. 41 points, 28 rebounds on that front line. Drummond's been sensational. He's averaging about 28, 20 and 18 the last two games. It is the kind of team that can give them problems because they, these are bigs that make you pay for playing small. Very few teams in this league have bigs good enough offensively that actually make the Heat pay for playing LeBron or Battier at the four. This is one of the few teams that can. So on a given night, if you give them a lead early, now you've got to dig out of a hole. It's going to be tough. Tonight, the Heat couldn't recover.